Yo yo what's good everyone it's your boy with another video and if I'm sounding a bit weird it's because I'm sick so sorry about that and the balance changes dropped with the new update so here is the new top 10 weapons in this season and as I always say the list is not in order and any of those guns can be your number one weapon depending on your play style. So yeah just keep that in mind. Don't forget to like and subscribe, love y'all and enjoy the video. So at number 1 we have the HVK30. And I'm gonna say it again, this list is not in order. So it, this doesn't mean that the HVK is the best gun in this list. <laughs> you know what? At number 10 we have the HVK30. This weapon requires a lot of skill to use it efficiently in ranked. Skills such as ammunition management, a great recoil control and a great aim. So if you have these skills, your playstyle doesn't really matter, you can use HVK at any map and at any range. Number 9 is Grau 556. Yes, I can finally pronounce this gun. <laughs> but this weapon is extremely versatile and really easy to use. 60 round mag, easy recoil, great mobility, great damage profile and low hit flinch. So if you can't find a weapon that matches your playstyle, use Grau cause playstyle doesn't really matter when you are using this thing. Number 8 is LK24, my personal favorite AR. This thing is an absolute beast at medium to long range. The recoil is really easy to control and the time to kill at range is extremely good. If you are a passive player that holds angles and likes to have the ability to move around the map in the time of need, this is your gun. Number 7 is none other than the newly buffed AK-47. With this buff, AK is now extremely viable in ranked. It can now two shot to the head and it's really really easy to use. Because of the large mag and the easy recoil, the only downside being the slow fire rate so try to keep your distance when you are using it. At number 6 we have the Creek 69. This is an aggressive AR for those who want to rush around the map with an AR. Of course you can use it at long range as well but be careful cause you might lose to other ARs at long range. Creek is the aggressive version of the Kilo 141 but the Kilo didn't make it on this list because there are simply other guns that are just way better at Kilo at range. Number 5 is yet again the newly buffed DRH. DRH is not a good AR unless you build it to be an hybrid AR. It means that you mostly use it in close to medium range, but you have the capability to pick gunfights at long range as well. So only use DRH with this gunsmith and only if you are an aggressive AR player. Number 4 is the Fennec. Oh boy, this thing is good. I barely use it but man today I found out that I should definitely use it more in maps like Nooktown or Summit or any other close range maps overall. The only thing is that you absolutely can't pick any gunfights at range. Number 3 is PP-19 Bison. PP-19 is really close to Grau in terms of versatility and being super easy to use, the only difference being that the PP-19 is better than the Grau at, at close range. So if you are an aggressive player that want a versatile weapon, this one is yours. Well at number 2 we have the Switchblade. I personally don't like it and I prefer Fennec over it, but Switchblade is something between Fennec and PP-19. If you want an aggressive SMG but with a little bit of range, use this. And lastly, we have the Snipers. The snipers are extremely high risk, high reward. There isn't much to say about the Snipers other than it requires a unique playstyle which only Snipers have and it's mainly used in SND matches. And my suggestions are DLQ33 for overall sniping, Locust and Kashka if you are an aggressive sniper and ZRG for overall versatility as well. And yeah that's about it guys, I hope this video was helpful to you, yeah see you later.